Welcome to Top 10 Archive. The mind of a killer is truly a complicated concept to understand. But when that killer is a child, the aura seems much more sinister. In this installment, we're counting down 10 more children who murdered. Number 10, Edmund Kemper. Also known as the co-ed butcher or the co-ed killer, Edmund Emil Kemper III is an American serial killer and necrophile who was active in California in the early 1970s. He started by murdering his grandparents when he was 15 years old, for which he was sentenced to a five-year term as a juvenile. He was released as an adult and then go on to kill and dismember six female hitchhikers in the Santa Cruz area, also murdering his mother and one of her friends before turning himself into authorities. Kipper used his imposing size and IQ, which was estimated to be in the 140s, to overcome his victims. At his trial, Edmund pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but would be found guilty in November 1973 of eight counts of murder. Edmund asked for the death penalty, but capital punishment was suspended at the time and instead received life imprisonment. Number 9. Joshua Phillips Joshua Phillips is an American from Jacksonville, Florida, who was convicted of murdering an eight-year-old neighbor, Maddie Clifton, in November of 1998 when he was 14. Phillips claims the incident occurred when Maddie came over to his house looking to play. Despite not being allowed to have people over when his parents were at home, he did so anyway. While playing baseball, Joshua hit a ball that struck Maddie in the eye, causing her to bleed. Fearing his father's temper and knowing he would be home soon, he panicked, dragged Maddie to his room, and proceeded to strangle her with a phone cord, followed by hitting her with a baseball bat and stabbing her 11 times. Joshua was charged with first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole. Since he was under the age of 16, he was not eligible for the death penalty under Florida's law at the time and is currently still appealing his case. Number 8. Michael Hernandez Southwood Middle School in Palmetto Bay, Florida gained headlines on February 3, 2004 when 8th grader Jaime Rodrigo Go, 14, was stabbed 42 times in a second floor bathroom by classmate Michael Hernandez, also 14. Hernandez was diagnosed by defense mental health experts and concluded he suffered from paranoid schizophrenia and possible delusions. Hernandez described in his journal his fixation on becoming a serial killer, even listing people he desired to murder. Michael Hernandez confessed in cold clinical detail how he lured Go into the school bathroom and the stabbing, but he claimed he was not guilty because of insanity. The court found Hernandez competent, charging him with first-degree murder and was sentenced to life imprisonment. Due to legal changes in the law, Hernandez's sentence was thrown out and will be resentenced under the new law changes. Number 7. Girl A. Dubbed the Sasebo Slashing, Satomi Matarai, a 12-year-old Japanese schoolgirl, was murdered by an 11-year-old classmate for whom the Japanese police referred to as Girl A, due to Japanese legal procedures prohibiting identification of juvenile offenders. The murder occurred June 1, 2004 at Akubo Elementary School in Sasebo, Japan, within an empty room during lunch hour, where Girl A slit the arms and throat of Satomi with a utility knife. After a teacher found the body and called the authorities, Girl A was taken into custody, where she eventually confessed that she killed Satomi over a quarrel they had had on the internet, where Satomi slandered Girl A by commenting on her weight and calling her a goody-goody. On September 15, 2004, a Japanese family court ruled to institutionalize Girl A due to the severity of the crime and was sent to a reformatory in Tochigi Prefecture, where she served four years. Number 6. Jesse Pomeroy The youngest person convicted of first-degree murder in the history of Massachusetts, Jesse Harding Pomeroy assaulted several children in 1871 and 1872. The attacks were noteworthy due to their brutality, leaving some of the children scarred for life. In 1872, Pomeroy was found guilty and sentenced to the Lyman School for Boys in Westboro, Massachusetts, but paroled in February 1874 at the age of 14 and sent back to his mother and brother in South Boston. In March of 1874, a 10-year-old girl, Katie Curran, went missing, and a month later, on April 24th, the mutilated body of four-year-old Horace Millen was found in the marsh of Dorchester Bay. Later, Carrie Curran's body would be found in the cellar of Pomeroy's mother's dressmaking shop, 
and Pomeroy was pronounced guilty on December 10, 1874, for both murders. Two governors refused to sign the death warrant due to Pomeroy's young age, but was eventually transferred to the state prison at Charlestown, where he remained in solitary until 1929, where he then was taken to Bridgewater Hospital for the criminally insane and died in 1932. Number five, Armajit Sada. Described as India's youngest serial killer, Armajit Sada, eight, was charged by police in Bihar, one of India's poorest states, for the murder of three infant children, which included his sister and cousin. The first two murders perpetrated by Sada were hidden by members of his family, but his third could not be swept under the rug. Chun Chun Devi became panicked when she couldn't find her six-month-old daughter, Kushbu, where she had laid her to sleep at a school in Mushahari village. When confronted, Sada admitted to the crime, took police to where he buried the child, and described how he dispatched the infant with a rock or brick, depending on the sources. Amarjit was diagnosed with psychiatric disorders and has been placed in a remand home in a nearby town of Munger. Under India's law, the child cannot be sentenced to death or sent to prison, but he can be detained at a children's home until he reaches the age of 18. Number four, John Venables and Robert Thompson. Two boys, John Venables and Robert Thompson, both 10 years of age, were skipping school when they abducted, tortured, and murdered two-year-old James Patrick Bulger. Closed-circuit television evidence from the New Strand Shopping Center in Boodle, England, where Bulger was taken from on February 12, 1993, showed the two boys casually observing children, carefully selecting their target. The boys eventually chose Bulger, taking him from the shopping center where they led him on a walk two and a half miles or four kilometers away to Walton, Liverpool, and perpetrated their heinous crime, then dumped his body on a railway line. The pair were found guilty on November 24, 1993, making them the youngest convicted murderers in English history. They were both remanded into custody until they reached adulthood and were released with new identities in 2001. In 2010, Venables was sent to prison for violating his terms, but was released on parole again in 2013. Number three, Jasmine Richardson. Jasmine Richardson, the 12-year-old daughter of the victims, orchestrated the murder of her brother and parents with her 23-year-old boyfriend, Jeremy Steinke, now going by the name of Jackson May, in April of 2006. Occurring in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada, due to arguments with her parents over the age difference of her boyfriend, the murders seemed to be inspired by the film Natural Born Killers. On July 9, 2007, Jasmine was found guilty of three counts of murder, becoming the youngest person convicted of multiple murders in Canada. She was given the maximum penalty of 10 years, where she had to spend four years in a psychiatric institution and four and a half years under conditional supervision in the community. In 2011, she began attending classes at Mount Royal University in Calgary, Alberta, and was released from her sentence. Jeremy Steinke would be charged with three counts of first-degree murder and was sentenced to three life sentences. Number two, Craig Price. Nicknamed the Warwick Slasher, 15-year-old American serial killer Craig Price committed several crimes in Warwick, Rhode Island. Price was arrested in 1989 for four murders, a woman and her two daughters in 1989, and the murder of another woman in 1987. Price committed his first murder when he was 13 years old on July 27, 1987, where he broke into a home two houses down from his own, taking a knife from the kitchen, stabbing 27-year-old Rebecca Spencer 58 times. Two years later, Price murdered three other neighbors while high on LSD. The victims, 39-year-old Joan Heaton, was stabbed 57 times, 10-year-old Jennifer Heaton was stabbed 62 times, and 8-year-old Melissa Heaton had her skull crushed. He was tried as a minor, which meant he was eligible for release on his 21st birthday, but due to other crimes perpetrated while in prison, he gained an additional 10 to 25 years. He was denied parole in 2009, and his current release date is May 2020. Number 1. Brenda Ann Spencer a chilling scenario took place at Cleveland Elementary School on January 29, 1979 in San Diego, California, when Brenda Ann Spencer, a 16-year-old girl, brandished a rifle and opened fire from her home across the street. Spencer lived with her father in extreme poverty, where they slept on a single mattress on the living room floor and empty alcohol bottles throughout the house. The principal and custodian were killed, 
and eight children and a police officer were injured. A reporter managed to get in touch with her during the shooting spree, where she confessed, I just did it for the fun. I didn't like Mondays. This livens up the day. She eventually surrendered after a seven-hour standoff with police and was tried as an adult, where she pleaded guilty to two counts of murder and assault with a deadly weapon. She was sentenced to 25 years to life and currently resides in prison, where she won't be eligible for parole again until 2019. Do you have an idea for a future Top 10 video? If so, let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, top10archive.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your family and friends.